What is your name? The destroyer of the altar. The destroyer of the altar. Yes. What do you do? The destroyer of the altar. In the life of a person. What is this? Me and my demons. We work in the life of those who serve and those who once served your God. How do you work? Making them cold. Coldness. So your main tool is to make the servant of God cold. Because the moment the person enters the church with a red heart, but they don't put in practice what you say to the men in white, their mind becomes distorted. And that's when I make them cold. And then you make the servant of God cold, making him to become relaxed. Until he doesn't have any more strength. Pastor, assistant, how do they become cold? The day he begins to think is something. The day he stops praying, meditating. The day he forgets where your God took him from. That's where I get him. So there you already take him? Yes, of course. I received this order a while ago from my boss. For how long do you do this work? For two years. You have no idea. Of what? Of how close the time is for your God to return. He's close. You are all the last generation. The children who are being born now will not even reach adulthood. Hold on. Look here. The children who are alive today will not even reach in the adult phase. They will not. The heavens are already empty. The angels are already standing on top of the clouds. Your God is already at the door. Only you that can see it. But his feet are already on top of each one. There's no more time for anything. There's not. You're saying that from two years ago, you assumed this responsibility. I assume. Who gave you this responsibility? My boss, Satan. He gave you? Yes. Now I ask you, the destroyer of the altar, I ask you, pay attention. Where were you before receiving this mission? Where were you? Working with the people on the streets. For them not to look at the church with a red heart. So they're outside you already working. And now I'm placed here inside. And now you work inside. Inside of this church. Inside the church. Inside the church, me and my demons. In our church. Yes. To make the servant of God cold. That's it. Is it? You know you disgraceful thing. How many of your pastors have left from two years ago until now? It was me. It was you. Because I can. You can. From a moment the person doesn't obey the word of your God, this person gives me strength. So two years ago you received this mission. So you have been working with coldness and making the servant of God relaxed. So I ask you, the breaking of the altar, you are a kind of demon that does not need any work, any help for all that you do. I am not an issue. I am a prince. You are a prince. I only made a mistake once and I have no more chance. If I had one more opportunity with your God, I'll embrace it with all my strength. And all these people here have many chances, but I don't give value. That's why we take them, because they don't value the daily opportunities they have with your God. So if you had an opportunity, you would embrace it. I will give everything because I know how it is up there. And I know how it is down there. I know who your God is. How is it up there? There are no words to explain. But if I had a chance, I'll grab it just to have one more opportunity with your God. If I had a chance, I'll clean this whole floor with my tongue just to have one more opportunity with your God. So you clean the floor with your tongue just for you to have an opportunity? 
When they surrender to Jesus, they're free at that moment. But they have to surrender with sincerity. Because many they surrender, they go in front of the altar as if this is all a joke. But they don't understand your God is watching the intention of each one. Many here, they ask for forgiveness because of the disgraceful life they live, but with the intention of going to sin all over again. That's why their lives don't move.